Yeah, like a... We are about to recheck a cow that we have shown you guys on this channel once before. We sure ooh, see her original trim here. Let me show you some clips of it as well. But we are gonna recheck that cow now. She was trimmed four weeks ago, I think. Four weeks ago, yeah. And she was in a pretty bad way, so I'm intrigued to see how she's doing now. Will she be healed? I'm not quite sure. I reckon it's gonna take probably about six weeks for her to heal up maybe eight i would imagine it would probably take six weeks for her to heal but eight weeks for us to take the block off would be my my guess but let's get her in and let's see how she's doing if you want to follow her journey you're gonna to have to give us a big subscribe go come on out of the robot and just get out of the way but yeah if you want to follow our journey you're gonna to have to subscribe you're gonna to have to follow along and let's see if we can get this girl in and see how she's doing so let's give you a little recap of exactly how we treated this hoof on her first outing. So, you know the drill. We are just going to put a little bit of texture, put a little bit of heat into this hoof, and then we're going to block on, in this case, a TP block. It's super long wearing. As you will see in a minute, they're clearly well, wear really well as it's not really changed at all. And it's been four weeks since we have seen her. Now we get to removing this horn, so obviously this is sped up. It's sped up about three and a half times, but I just wanted you guys to see the full trim before we get to see just how good she is now. And yeah, all this horn was completely fractured. It goes right down to the corium, which really isn't good. You'll see a little sole ulcer appearing in a minute. And obviously all this pressure, all this impact is impacting the pedal bone. It makes the pedal bone super rough and it looks really damaged. If I was to show you one of a cow that's had a sole ulcer for a prolonged period of time, she will have a really, really rough, nasty looking pedal bone where we want it to be super, super smooth. And that is how we keep these girls in full healthy condition by keeping the bones underneath in perfect condition. So. As you'll see here, we're just going to clean it up. We also wrapped her with salicylic acid and then we're going to let her go in a minute and you guys are going to see just how she walked out. And I want you to guys to remember how she walked out of this shoot and then you'll see her walk in a minute, which was super impressive. I was really pleased with the improvement this girl had shown. So let's see her walk. Five, six, nine, four was her number. Wouldn't know there was anything wrong with it, would you? You wouldn't. There's a few more than six. I said there's a few more than six. That was me just chatting with one of the herdsmen who, yeah, struggles with his counting some days, I think, because there's always more cows than he says, but that's good for us. But we're just going to whip through these cows. You guys can see here just how efficiently me and Will work together. And you also get to see my awesome new Outback shorts, which are very pink. But yeah, we're going to get this cow in and we're going to get her up in the air. And I am so pleased with this improvement. I can't tell you how happy I was with this trim. Just a recheck from last time. Let's grab the um, pose. This is the first one on the other side as well. We've hosed that hoof off, so we know exactly where we are going to have to work because I was watching her walk, pretty confident that she was going to be showing quite good signs of improvement, but I can't be sure unless this hoof is clean and these girls are running up through a race where 
they i mean we put 50 cows through here today so they're never going to be the cleanest so we had to do a little bit of cleaning for her and as you guys can see if we zoom here or zoom in here just a little bit you're gonna see just how much it's has improved now she's fidgeting around a bit i can't seem to get my ropes to quite stay tight on these legs we tighten them up pretty much every day but they still seem to be stretching a little bit but that's why you're seeing her get a little bit of movement but yeah as you'll see here look how clean that hoof is you can see the open corium that was there before has almost completely healed a new layer of horn has grown over the top of it she obviously had that double fracture before and you look at this now it is nearly perfect and we're now just going to let this girl go and we're going to show you guys just how well she walks out walks away because i was so happy with how this girl's doing into the robot room to get out of the way of the wind but Jesus that was looking way way better than I was expecting drop a comment down below if you want to see a recheck and if you want to see a follow up you're going to have to follow because you're going to have to see how she's doing in the next few weeks we'll be rechecking her again in two weeks time so subscribe Ugh. subscribe follow and we'll see you guys with this cow in a couple weeks time so let's finish this video by comparing her incredible improvement over this four week period so like you've seen in the beginning of this video this is her at the original trim and this is her now and i'm sure you guys will all agree her improvement has been incredible you look back at how she left the shoot on her first visit she could barely touch the floor and look at her here now she is walking out perfectly so to follow her journey like subscribe and we will catch you guys on the next video